Tonight, Mr. Luckett has a stack of short essays to go over from today's class. Grading is a chore, but he's happy to do it because it gives him a chance to give specific feedback to his students. And we're done. Nice work, Luckett. Except you've got a problem. There are still 99 more to go. And if you grade them all with this same level of detail, you'll be at it for a week. And when students look at this sea of red, they're not likely to process it well. Let's rewind. Back to before Luckett started grading, before the kids wrote their essays, before his interactive lecture. Here's Luckett starting his planning cycle with today's target task. And here he is doing the target task himself to figure out exactly what it asked of students. This is where we're going to intervene. This time, step three in his planning process will be generating criteria for success. We know. That's kind of an inelegant name. In a nutshell, criteria for success are a checklist of content and skills that kids have to master to meet today's learning goals. It's this list that will help Luckett plan exactly what his teaching and feedback will focus on. In order to help students understand Castro's revolutionary theory, as well as the other key pieces of content he identified, he makes sure to include a detailed slide about it in his interactive lecture. And he also decides to run a mini-lesson on how to write an effective topic sentence, which is a writing skill his kids haven't quite mastered yet. He'll give them an exemplar topic sentence, and also one to fix. They'll synthesize their new knowledge and skills by doing today's target task that they'll have 30 minutes to write. Once his activities are planned, the criteria for success will also help him be strategic about what feedback he's going to give to students. Giving feedback will happen during the lesson, particularly while kids are writing, as well as when he's at home grading the short responses. Instead of giving feedback on a grab bag of topics, he'll focus his comments on the skills that they're explicitly working on. This level of focus will allow Luckett to get to bed on time and catch up on some sleep. And tomorrow, kids will be able to process and implement the targeted feedback. But a word of caution as you write your criteria for success. It can be easy to go overboard when you're imagining all the things your students will need to know and do to accomplish your target task. Luckett could easily have talked himself into a lecture that spanned the whole period. And he also could have defined a long list of skills that undergird the rigorous work kids will do today. This kind of high-level thinking should inform Luckett's year-long planning rather than what today's lesson should look like. But if he generates a manageable list of criteria for success that hews closely to the content and skills kids need for today's target task, he'll be able to plan tight lessons and give actionable targeted feedback.